This mega project is saving our ocean, just tech. Millions of tons of plastic reach the oceans yearly, most of which is released from rivers. A part of this plastic makes its way to ocean garbage patches, entangled with plastic from other sources in a vortex of cycling currents, e.g. offshore fishing activities. If nothing is done, plastic will negatively impact our environment, health, and economies. This great effort, called the Ocean Cleanup, is developing and scaling solutions to clean up 90% of floating ocean plastic pollution. Let's know more about this mega project. A nonprofit environmental engineering company called the Ocean Cleanup, with offices in the Netherlands, creates equipment to remove plastic trash from the oceans and stop it in rivers before it reaches the sea. After preliminary testing and prototyping in the North Sea, they first deployed their full-scale prototype in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. After two months, it encountered problems and had to be towed to Hawaii for inspection and repair. Their second prototype system was put into use in June 2019. Additionally, they launched two installations of their river technology, the Interceptor, in 2019, made the project public in October 2019, and launched a third in 2020. They declared that System 002 prototype testing was successful in 2021. At Bologna Creek, close to Los Angeles, California, the first Interceptor original deployed in the United States was set up in 2022. The company carries out academic studies on plastic pollution in the ocean. Boyan Slot, its CEO and a Dutch-born inventor-entrepreneur of Croatian ancestry, created it in 2013. It continues releasing scientific articles while conducting the Mega and the Aerial Expeditions, two excursions to the North Pacific Gyre. A Brief Background Boyan Slat put forth the cleanup initiative and assisting system in 2012. Slat gave a TED lecture in October where he described the project. The original plan called for long, floating barriers anchored to the seafloor and stabilized by a platform in the middle that was fashioned like a manta ray. The media would collect the floating plastic which the barriers would remove from the water. Slat should have mentioned the size of this system during the discussion. The central platform was removed from the design in 2014 and replaced with a tower independent of the floating barriers. This platform would use a conveyor belt to gather the plastic. A 100-kilometer-long floating wall was suggested. Scale model testing was done in regulated settings. At Marin and Del Terre's wave pools were used for testing. The goal was to acquire information for further computational modeling and evaluate the dynamics and load of the barrier. In the summer of 2016, a 100-meter section was tested off the Dutch coast. The Ocean Cleanup announced fresh design modifications and intended to test their new drifting system in the North Pacific on May 11, 2017. The size was substantially cut, going from 100 kilometers to 1 to 2 kilometers, 0.62 to 1.24 miles. The Ocean Cleanup advocated employing 60 or so of these devices. In 2018, the Ocean Cleanup conducted more scale model tests. The sea anchors were removed because the system moved faster due to the wind than the plastic. The underwater screen would be placed more profoundly in the center of the system, increasing drag to meet the goal of having the opening of the U face the direction of travel. System 001, also known as Wilson, inspired by the floating volleyball in the 2000 movie Castaway, launched from San Francisco on September 9, 2018. Maersk Launcher towed the system to a location 240 nautical miles offshore, where it underwent a series of sea trials. The barrier was 600 meters 2, feet, long and had a skirt that was 3 meters 9 .8 feet, broad hanging underneath it. It was unmanned and equipped with solar-powered navigation and monitoring equipment like GPS, cameras, lamps, and AIS. By summer 2019, the Ocean Cleanup hoped to have the system back in operation. After four months of root cause investigations and redesign, a new improved testing system, 001B, was introduced in the middle of June. System 002, commonly known as Jenny, a novel design, was introduced for testing in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in July 2021. 
The company reported that the system had collected 28,000 kilos, 62,000 pounds, of rubbish in October. The project unveiled plans for System 003, extending 2.5 kilometers in October, 1.6 miles. The ocean cleanup declared in July 2022 that an interceptor original would be stationed close to Bologna Creek's mouth in southwest Los Angeles County, California. On July 25, 2022, the project declared that it had used its System 002 to remove more than 100,000 kilograms of plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and that it was starting to switch to the new System 3, which was allegedly 10 times more effective than its predecessor. It uses 2,500 meter, 8,200 feet, long, U-shaped barriers with a 4-meter, 13-foot skirt towed by boats. How does this project work? The fact that the plastic pollution in the ocean garbage patches is highly diluted and covers millions of square kilometers presents the main problem in cleaning it up. The cleanup solution concentrates the plastic first, efficiently gathering and removing large amounts of material. A clever and energy-saving approach is needed to clean spaces of size. Artificial coasts have been built where there are none to concentrate the plastic while keeping a relative speed gap between the cleanup system and the plastic. The system consists of a long barrier in the form of a U that directs the plastic into a retention zone at the other end. The mechanism maintains a slow forward motion using active propulsion. The plastic is moved around by the currents in the waste patch, resulting in naturally occurring concentration hotspots that change over time. Hotspots are anticipated with the use of computer modeling, and cleanup systems are then installed there. The most recent Jenny design makes use of a floating, towed structure. The building serves as a boom for containment. Under the float, a permeable screen collects surface detritus. It included active propulsion and an 800-meter, 2,600-foot barrier to enable the system to move faster. The floating system retrieved 100,000 kilograms of plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in July 2022, marking a significant accomplishment. The floating plans are made to collect plastics of various sizes, including giant abandoned fishing nets, ghost nets, which can be tens of meters broad, and tiny fragments just millimeters in length. According to modeling, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch will require roughly 10 full-size systems to be cleaned up. By 2040, the ocean cleanup expects to be able to remove 90% of the floating ocean plastic when fleets of devices have been deployed into each ocean gyre together with source reduction. Scientific Findings and Expeditions Based on samples taken in the North Atlantic Gyre, the research team published a report about the vertical distribution of plastic in biogeosciences in February 2015. They discovered that the concentration of plastic drops off rapidly with depth, reaching its lowest point just a few meters below the surface. In October 2016, a follow-up paper was released in Scientific Reports. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch was crossed by about 30 ships, including the lead ship RV Ocean Star in August 2015 as part of the ocean cleanup's so-called Mega Expedition, which mapped a 3.5 million square kilometer area. The expedition gathered information on the patch's quantity, density, and total mass of plastic. The organization claims this voyage gathered more information on maritime plastic contamination than in the previous 40 years. The Ocean Cleanup launched its aerial expedition in September and October 2016, during which a C-130 Hercules aircraft carried out the first ever round of aerial surveys to map the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The objective was to determine how much massive debris, such as ghost nets, was present in the patch. The crew saw a lot more waste than they had anticipated, according to SLAT. The initiative created the Ocean Cleanup Survey app, a mobile application that allows anyone to search the ocean for plastic and report their findings to the Ocean Cleanup. Funds for this Nobel project. The majority of the money for the Ocean Cleanup comes from donations and in-kind sponsors including Maersk, Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce.com, Peter Thiel, Julius Baer Foundation, the Coca-Cola Company, and Royal DSM. With a crowdsourcing effort, the Ocean Cleanup raised more than 2 million U.S. dollars in 2014. 
The Ocean Cleanup sunglasses, their first item produced from plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, were released in October 2020 to raise money for the cleanup's ongoing costs. In 2022, Kia joined the Ocean Cleanup as a financial and in-kind partner on a global scale. When someone learns about ocean plastic pollution, the most typical first reaction is, let's simply hire some ships and go clean it up. The seas are enormous, and those who take the time to learn more about the problem typically conclude that it would be much simpler to find ways to prevent plastic from entering the ocean first than to clean it up at sea. The Ocean Cleanup Project spent years researching the problem and striving to remove trash from the oceans. Check out our channel, Just Tech, to learn more about these exciting projects working to save our planet. Thanks for watching.